Check one, two. Okay, cool. The microphone is working. Uh, hello, everyone. I've got approximately half an hour before I've got to go cook tea. It's a work night, so I don't have much time to do stuff I want to do, but, you know, that's life. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd... Uh, br I'm going to do a little bit of playtesting, and I thought I'd bring you along to check out my build. Um, as you can see, there was a fork in the snow in the background. Um, so nice custom main menu. Um, the there's a mod that randomizes the main menu music, picks a different uh, song from the vanilla soundtrack every every time. So that's just a nice little touch. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the mod list is called Yizgrimor's Soup Spoon, and Yizgrimor ate his soup with a fork. His spoon was a fork, so that's that's why there's the fork in the picture. Um, cool. Uh, let me think, let me think. Uh, I won't go into too much uh, detail about the mods I've got installed, but what I will do is I'll put a link to the mod list in the video description. Um, I was using a different quick start mod, but I've just switched to this one because I was having a bunch of issues. And... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, those issues are gone now, so that's good. Uh, I am still having an issue with High Poly Head, where if you switch to a female character and then switch back to a male, you can no longer change the face type and access High Poly Head. So, uh, don't know what to do about that. I'll figure it out, I guess. Such is the way with modding. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And then let's give him a beard. Uh, no. No, we get No. I want... <laughs> no, that's not... We're not doing that. Oh, come on, there's got to be... That beard there, that's the beard we're going to go for. And then, yep, make match the... Match the hair and the beard colour. Hang on, let's get in there. What do we got? Ooh. Yeah, that one. There we go. And then we need some horns, because this is a druid Nord. Uh, I'm running... Uh, there we go. Cool. I'm running... Uh, hang on. How soon but that? I'm running... Um, okay, there's a little message for the players. I'm hoping to do this as a Wabberjack list, but I've, I still feel like it's probably beyond me. But I use that as motivation to make my list as good as, good as it can be. So, I have put a message there for the player. Choose Imperials. Uh, choose, choose Imperials. Choose your side, Imperials. Um, so, we just gotta wait for the mods to load. That's fine. Um, oh, and he's fucking sneaking. I don't know why he's he sneaking. Like, uh, that's a weird peculiarity of this quick start mod, I reckon. I'm pretty sure. Actually, you know what? I did hit the sneak button while we were in the race menu. So that's probably it. <laughs> wow. I've got Very the burp I've got the burp mod and the fart mod installed and they seem to make the NPCs burp and fart at the same time. So that's something else I'm gonna have to fix, like change the timing so that they're either burping or farting. Um Yeah, uh cool little workbench there, cool little uh you know whatever, tanning rack. Um my mod list has a lot of variety uh, through base object swapper mods. So I still need to patch these. Oh, there we go. All the mods are done. So now I can hit that button and get out of sneak. Because the sneak button is also the dodge button. So if you've got your weapons out, uh, it's dodge. If you don't have your weapons out, it's sneak. And I think if you're standing still with your weapons out, Let's just let him do the animation. Yeah, so if you're standing still in combat, you can sneak. But if you're moving in combat, you dodge. Um, this mod list is designed to be played with a controller. So it has a custom control map, uh, which I've made for Skyrim. And it also has a Steam controller config. And you have to basically have an Xbox controller, I think. You might be able to play it with a PlayStation controller. I don't have one to be able to test. 
but I know it works with an Xbox controller and I'm pretty sure it works with any kind of Xbox controller. So I've just made a patch for the player character. Oh look, he's got his lantern out, so let's just get rid of that. Why is that not going? I'm pushing the button. Uh, okay. Drunk, he's, no, no. Naked. Yeah, Possibly I am. Well, oh, I'm not naked, naked. I'm wearing, oh, there we go. Okay, so the button does work. It just wasn't working because I was pointed at Captain Sick. That's fine. Okay, so. First of all, I said this was housing but fat, so let's make him fat. Because that's what I said I was going to do. There we are. Nice big fat boy. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, we got housing. So, uh, if I toggle the HUD on, you can see bottom right, you've got a bath. Uh, no, let me start again. Okay, so you got to stay clean or you get debuffs. you got to eat, drink, and sleep or you get debuffs. Uh, a, usually, if you're getting colder or warmer, there's a little icon uh, up the top near the compass that says you're getting colder or warmer so you got to stay warm in cold environments or you you suffer debuffs bottom left you got true hard bottom left you've also got resistances so because i'm playing as a nord at the moment you've got 50 percent uh frost resistance and all those little icons relate to different resistances i do not remember them off the top of my head um i usually play with the dlss mod uh, for performance reasons because I'm running this on a 2070 super with 16 gigabytes RAM uh, and like eight gigabyte six or eight gigabytes VRAM on the graphics card itself I am upgrading to a 4070 eventually in the meantime I need to do what I can to get good performance anyway that's enough enough fucking talking um, I made a patch for this quick start mod to make sure that the character had a full set of fur armor and a fur cloak right so that if you start the game in Morthal, for example you're not going to freeze to death because i've got mods to make the the cold uh, hypothermia elements of sunhelm more challenging because uh, they were too easy in my opinion so i have provided the player with full warm gear to keep them warm if they choose to start the game in like a cold environment and I've also got a simple injuries mod. So you got bandage, cure, concussion, and splint for different injuries. Um, skooma, I've got the J Serpa skooma mod, so it's fun to give the characters, uh, give the players some skooma, so they can like go, oh, have some skooma and get surprised that they go on a drug trip. Because um, uh, I've got Sunhelm, I've got a bunch of food mods, um, but they're not recognised by Sunhelm by default. So the first item of food that you eat from one of these unrecognized things, it tells Sunhelm, you, you tell Sunhelm what it is, but it doesn't contribute to your hunger levels. So I've got five sweet worlds, so you, which is a vanilla food item, so Sunhelm recognizes it. So when you get hungry, which we will get hungry in a minute, um, you can eat that to satiate your hunger. You get water skins from Sunhelm. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, Triple Triad, I've got a card game installed, so you get, you collect cards and you can play with most of your followers that are in the game, like uh, let's say Inigo, Zelzaz, uh, Remiel, uh, Ori, um, Redcap, I think most of them have patches so you can actually play cards with your followers when you've got a quiet moment. It's kind of just nice, just a nice little addition. Uh, I've given the player character a tent. And that is an optional item, the portable mimic, that will not be in the game by default. I just am playing with it currently. Uh, hammer, mortar and pestle and whetstone is portable alchemy and portable blacksmithing. But it's only good for three, three goes and it, it reduces how much you can temper an item uh, per usage. So it, it's quite balanced I think. Travel pack is from Journeyman from Simon Room. You can't fast travel without a travel pack. And soap is from Keep It Clean. So I've added all those items to the player character so you start with them. So you're pretty well. And then you go in here. you got this treasure chest. Alright. you got... Uh, let's get some iron arrows. We'll get the sword. We'll get the longbow. Oh, we will take the pickaxe actually. Because we should be able to mine with it. Almost as a dagger. Uh, no, we're not going to fuck with the dagger. Okay. We need... We need stuff. We need stuff. Um, 
Let's, 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 let's do, well, we'll take that and we'll take these. Uh, just because it will keep us warmer. It's important to stay warm, so we'll take the gloves as well. And then we'll take the heavy armor. And we don't need the fur stuff. Oh, guard of Fjallmark shield. Okay, no, that's just a guard shield. Alright, that's fine. We don't need... Uh, we've got the fur armor, so that's all we need for that. We'll take all the potions. A bunch of potions. Ah, and it looks like we've got zero gold, which is fucked, because I changed the gold value in X edits to be 800. Oh no, there's the money. There's the money. Okay. So I need to edit my patch to make that amount of money like 800 gold because I actually feel as though that's reasonable because you need to buy survival gear although I have provided a lot of survival gear at the start of the game so okay game uh, okay so the game uses a controller you can play with a keyboard but you will have to set up the hotkeys to suit playing with a keyboard because the hotkeys are set up to uh, what's the word, to um, work with the uh, controller hotkeys from the Steam config. And I won't get into that, even though I'm really proud of it, um, and it works really well. I won't get into that, but um, yeah, so you can play with the keyboard. It's 100% possible. And I've even got a mod designed for the keyboard. Oh, no, I haven't set that hotkey up. So I've got a couple of mods that you can only actually use with a keyboard which I don't use. One of them is dual wield pairing, the other one is take notes, so you can write little notes to yourself if you're using a keyboard. Uh, I play with a controller, but I included those mods for people who don't. So let's have a look here. Alright, so what we want to do, right, is part of this build, it, it, it works with certain stuff. We don't need that. Uh, and let's just favorite all that. Okay. What do you no, fuck off. And then we want magic, right? So, where's healing? Oh, okay, we haven't read the fucking books. So let's read the books. Alright, go into magic. Flames and healing. Okay, so... I'll, I'll just show you, okay? So, you... What you do is you make loadouts. So we're gonna make a magic loadout foot wraps. No, we don't need foot wraps. I thought I got rid of them. Never mind. Not to worry. And did I put healing on the flames on there? So what do we got? Gloves, boots, hood, flame healing. No, we need the novice major. And you know what else? Just to stay, keep us warm, we'll uh, add the travel cloak. Okay, and then the next loadout is going to be archery. So the first loadout is magic. The second loadout is archery. Uh, let's just make that happen arrows and longbow where's our shield ah oh, okay so the only shield available was that light shield which i didn't pick up that's okay we'll do that in a second so imperial boots imperial braces imperial helmet you know i think i might have a mod as well that says that if you go around storm cloaks while you're wearing imperial gear they do not like you I may be wrong about that, I can't remember. Ah, uh, look, it's gone and done quick loot. I've got quick loot installed, but I've also got simple hunting overhaul installed. And if you know these mods, you'll think, how the fuck is, did he do that? But there's a mod that makes it so that quick loot doesn't work for... Hang on, how's it look back? What am I doing here? Getting rid of foot wraps, because we don't need them. And we're also getting... No, we're not getting rid of any of that. We are picking up the... Oh, uh, the shield. Okay, cool. So, let's just equip this shield, and then I'll show you how it works. So, uh, guard, shield goes there. And you know what? Let's change the icons to make it pretty. So, what button is that? No, that's not it. Uh, hang on. Uh, which button is it? Set group icon. Okay, and then we'll set that to be the bow, and set that to be the sword. Yeah, there you go. Nice and easy to fucking recognize. So, here we are, set up. Hang on, we gotta... There we go. Okay, so this is our melee loadout, right? This is great. You, you got your melee loadout, but what happens is because of mods I've installed, go figure, that I installed some mods, um, all your magic skills are fucked. Alright, and that is because, 
if you go to status, you get a heavy armor debuff, makes it harder to cast spells, and a shield debuff for spells. Alright, which is why you want different loadouts. So then you pick the magic loadout. Alright. So you got... Ah, oh, that's unacceptable. The magic loadout, that is not right at all. This is supposed to be on the right hand, and that's supposed to be on the left. And we'll save the loadout. There we go, now it's not going to change. So, yeah. Fire. Healing. Okay, so now we got a magic loadout. We go back to the thing. Look, we no longer have debuffs. So what that means is that you can't really play as a mage unless you wear mage clothes. It's like a limitation, right? But I think that's good. I think that's actually good. So, anyway. And then you've got archery. Which is light armor. But this also doubles as your cold, cold weather gear. And... Because that doubles as your cold weather gear, uh, I should put the travel cloak on him, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. And there we go, travel cloak. So now he's nice and warm. You can check your warmth rating because of mods yet again. If you use cover, yeah, it says warmth 54 for the fair armor. So you can check warmth rating of all your equipment, which is which is really good. Um, that's going to, you know, you, you're playing a, with the survival mod, you want to be able to know what the fuck you're doing. So, now that's all sort of set up beautifully, let's save the game, and then we're going to travel to hey, Riverwood. That armor. Actually, we're not going to yeah. travel to Riverwood just yet, I'm going to put on subtitles, there we go, like that, and I'm going to make it difficult. Oh, it already is difficult, master. Okay, maybe should we make it adept just to see what sort of the, no, fuck it, let's make it, uh, god, fuck, I don't know, let's leave it on master for now. Oh, and I got photo mode there if you want to do that, but um, you can't no do that problem. with a controller, so that's fine. Uh, let's talk to Captain Sig. What is this? That armor you got rid of it? Yeah, I can take it, no problem. Yeah, of course Best you can. luck I've had all day. Yeah, no worries, buddy. Um, so oh, come on, man. I, that's that's all fine, right, but I need to I need to get you to travel. Okay, this is fucked. Well, fine. I wasn't really going to okay, do so anything with we're, it anyway. We're, we're getting mods that are not interacting well with other mods. Buddy. Let's get some mead. Let's, you two, ah, oh, there we go. Thank God for that. I was like, what the fuck? We can't ask him. So, uh, you can go to any inn or tavern, or you can go to a number of exterior locations. We are going to Riverwood. Um, partly because I'm going to test the combat in Embershard Mine. But also, uh, because everyone's familiar with Riverwood, so if I show you what Riverwood looks like, you'll get a sort of idea of, I don't know, the visual aesthetic of my build. Uh, okay, here we are. I hate these, uh, that metal there looks fine, that metal down the bottom looks all fucky, and I don't know why. It doesn't look good. I don't know why. Not a problem though, not going to worry about it. Uh, we've got, yeah, what do we got? We got, like, uh, ch -ch -ch parallax rugs, we've got embers XD, all the trimmings that most mod lists have. We've got diverse bread, medieval wine, uh, diverse tankards, so it basically means, yeah, so you got a tankard there that looks like that, you got one that looks like that. It adds visual diversity. I'm actually going to tweak some of these because I don't like, uh, some of the options, like, I'm going to make it so that the tankards are different from hold to hold, but are all the same tankard inside of an inn. Because it makes no sense that an inn would have like 12 different types of tankards in... So, anyway, uh, maybe I need to touch grass, but this is how much I think about these things. We've got diverse stools. Uh, I've got custom NPC appearances uh, that I handpicked myself um, based on their personality, but also on, on the principle of diversity so I wanted it so no two NPCs looked alike that was very important to me uh, why, uh, why why are we in here okay we're going to talk we to got him. rooms and food drink too I cook ain't much else to tell and we're gonna get some food let's say that appetite I've got dialogue tags so you can see from the dialogue menu which mods dialogue choices are from that's just an option uh, what how much is this 91 bucks, and I've only got 144. You, normally for playtesting, I would cheat. Actually, I would have given the player character 800 gold, so it, it would have had plenty of gold. Alright, so we're going to play poor, a game of poor, poor man. Poor man, no money. Just like real life. 
Uh, there we go. That'll do. Uh, so yeah, triple triad cards you're willing to sell. Uh, serve me a full meal, which is drink as well. I haven't got missives or uh, what's the other one? Notice board installed. So you get your side quests from talking to the NPCs. I've tweaked it so that there's only a 10% chance of not getting a quest. So all you have to do is overcome your social anxiety and talk to an NPC and you can get a quest. Uh, yada yada yada. Until I've got a hundred bazillion gazillion. Well, more like a dozen. I've got a dozen dynamic activation key mods. And uh, so that's set up on the controller as well. So you hold the dynamic activation key button and it changes from alchemy lab to alchemical processing which allows you to do different things so that's just an example there's also take a peek mod where you can peek through keyholes and there's uh, knocking on the doors if the doors are locked um, that can all be done with the dynamic activation key uh, just changes what the activation key does if you're holding the um, the other key um, yeah lots of those so you can give your followers potions with it you can do lots of stuff uh, lots and lots of stuff uh, every inn has a bath um, I don't know if I should bother showing you or not I will because why not um, I'm very happy with all these textures and it's all parallax which is important to me I like 3d textures uh, we're just going to I wonder if I can unlock this with my actual skill instead of a console command no that's boring let's not do that uh, let's go unlock unlock all right but I keep forgetting that I have no time to do this and that you guys are probably not interested um, so yeah keep it clean makes all of the baths in every inn and then fuck off you oh yeah by the way if you um female Brenton right because we haven't talked to it uh, Breton because we haven't talked to her. If we talk to her, she becomes Delphine. So you don't know who people are until you talk to them. I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, he is from a quest. I've got a shit ton of quest mods. Uh, most of the ones that... like there's, there, there are some points of difference between my list and other people's. And there are some things that everyone includes in their lists, more or less. And that's basically... that's Embry. Um, there is an old dude somewhere in this inn. He's hiding at the moment. I don't know where he's gone. Probably downstairs. Let's just run through downstairs real quick and see if he turns up. There is an old guy who appears in most of the inns. Alright. And you can play, you can gamble with him. So there's all these dice based tavern games that you can play with him. He's not there, so I guess maybe he just turns up in different inns randomly. I don't know. I'm gonna save the game again before we go outside because you never know when the game's gonna crash, especially as I'm playtesting. This is not a finished build by any measure. This is just a work in progress, so. And we don't have a loading screen. That's a bit of a bummer. Usually there's a pretty loading screen to look at, um, so you just have to listen to my voice. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look at Riverwood and then we'll go down Bashard Mine. Oh, in the end, there's a note, and the note tells you about Redcap, basically, who is a follower you can get from uh, Anisi's cabin. She's been keeping him as a slave, and let's get rid of the HUD. Um, I'm using Immersive HUD with a hotkey on the controller. We've got various buckets, dudes, so oh, different buckets wherever you go. I'm running uh, Ulvenwald for the trees, I'm running Vaidosprum for the grass, and I'm using a grass cachet which is actually saving us performance, which is dope. And I increased the size of the grass by 15% uh, for the grass cachet, and we got like lots of creatures. We got fairies, ducks, cats, dogs, rats, uh, raccoons, beavers, otters, uh, different types of uh, predatory fish. My thirst is increasing. Um, which encourages you to actually use the, the Creation Club fishing mod uh, because you can't really swim around in the waters catching fish as easily anymore because you'll get, you'll get killed by these hostile fish. Uh, I've got animated uh, carriages which travel through all the roads and it's a bit wonky but I don't care, even though it's a bit janky. I really love the idea that of seeing carriages going around. Um, 
these farmhouses are fucking dope. Uh, they are northern farmhouses or something, I cannot remember. But they have these curved roofs. And they have... Hang on, I'm going to do something. Alright, toggle god mode, toggle free cam. Let's just have a look around. So, yeah. So you can see these curved roofs here with the spikes on them. And that's combined with medieval farmhouses for the dark wood. And so you end up with these lovely curved roofs, the nice dark wood. It matches the wood of the... Like, it's just aesthetically pleasing. These should have medieval... Oh, they do. Medieval textile roofs. They've just faded. Sometimes I update mods and I don't actually realize what they're doing. Oh, by the way, you'll see a couple of things clipping, like this laundry is clipping with the thing. I've already made... started making patches to get rid of all that shit. I just haven't actually installed them yet. I haven't saved them in the X-Edit. I've made the JSONs. I haven't... Look at the curve of that wood on the on the fucking mill here. It looks beautiful. And uh, I've combined some uh, Charmers of the Reach uh, NPCs, like Feindal is a Charmers of the Reach NPC. And then some just high poly head NPCs, like this guy here. And they all look different. And all the NPCs now have laundry, because they do their laundry. They have baths, because they cl clean themselves. And they have outhouses. Remarkably detailed, <laughs> even toilet paper. Right, so they don't have to shit in the woods anymore. And and there's chimneys on the fucking houses that have fireplaces, right? So it's all about realism, immersion, and diversity, basically. Uh, even Embry has been given his own little house because he didn't have a fucking house. He lived in the pub. And... Uh, yeah, I'm using Northern Roads as well, which is very beautiful, and it's Parallax Landscape, and I'm using Atlantean Landscape for the landscape, and yeah, you got these lovely bridges from Northern Roads. Um, combined with Ulvenwald, I'm also using, uh, this here is from Nature of the Wildlands. There's a version of, oh fuck off, there's a version of Nature of the Wildlands that just gives you all the forest debris. So fallen logs and like, yeah, broken trees and stuff. And then Ulvenwald covers the actual trees. And I find that's a really good bout. Look at those ants. Look, we got little ants. That's fucking dope. Anyway, uh, yeah, and this shit here is added by Northern Roads. Northern Roads is a beautiful one. I don't know why people hate it. I think they're sooks. I think they can't figure out how to get it to work without a bunch of problems. And they have a big fat cry and say it's not a good mod when it actually is. We got a little beaver there. Uh, yeah, we got grass. We got birds. We got lots of sound mods. I'm actually working at getting rid of sounds of Skyrim because it has compatibility issues and all sorts of things. Oh, look, and we've got um, old Oblivion wrecked Oblivion gates as well. And that's sh just looking like that uh, because we're using free ca free cam to travel up here. If I actually toggle free cam off. Uh, like so, and then toggle collision instead, and then we run up there. Oh, am I using collision? No, it didn't work. Sometimes toggling collision doesn't actually work, uh, because you pointed at something. Yeah, wooden door collision is now off. Alright, so let's turn that back on, because we don't want a wooden door to not have collision. Alright, so you got to make sure you're not selecting anything, and then you toggle collision, and then there you go. Ah, uh, whoopsie doodle. I keep pressing the wrong button. Alright, uh, let's just run up here. I just want to look at this Oblivion Gate, because I installed the mod, and I knew it was compatible with everything, but I haven't actually looked at it in-game yet. Um, yeah, so beautiful fallen trees and stuff from, like, fuck off, wolves. Oh, look at that, it's covered in vines. Yeah, and the textures aren't bad. I mean, they're not great, but they're not bad. I like that. And it's not like you're going to come up here anyway. You're just going to see this from the distance and go, Ooh, an Oblivion Gate. So that's nice. Yeah, I've run Dynalodod, so we've got distant LODs uh, here. But we don't have grass LODs. And I've got Ultra Trees, so you've got your nice 3D trees in the distance. Uh, high health, health grass should be visible. It is. Um, I do... I am working at trying to get a grass LOD that will work with my 2070 Super. 
<laughs> it's it's I feel like it's a pipe dream honestly but um yeah uh, I don't want to have to walk all the way back to oh we got nice paper maps let's use one of these travel packs and do fast traveling um yeah very happy with my NPCs um it's not something I can really show you in the video but if you get to play this one day you'll you'll meet everyone and you'll see that they all look very different and I've I've leaned towards realism as much as possible even though a lot of people say Charmers of the Reach is like uncanny valley territory uh, I love it I don't know I just like it suits me fine alright so okay so yeah getting back on track here um, Raccoon Getting back on track, what were we doing? We're going to go and pick up Red Cap, and then we're going to go and do Embouchard Mine. Just in case Embouchard Mine is actually challenging. I haven't had a chance to balance anything, so I do not know, but I feel as though it's probably going to be super easy, and I'm going to have to do some, change some mods out or something to make it more challenging. Uh, there is the hold uh, border. Banners. So if we go up here, there should be... Hang on, let me just get my bow out. If we go up here, there should be... Yeah, an imp. So now I can show you the archery mod. So if you hit block while pressing left or right, you get rapid shot. If you hit the power attack button, he does a kick. Alright? And it, you can craft a special dagger to like do a combo with that button. And then you can do regular shots as well, which has this little thing because of True Heart. So you can play it regular, um, or you can do these rapid shots and things and play play it with True Heart, whatever. Whatever you want to do, that's archery, so that's cool, we figured that out. Uh, let me show you melee. So, so here's the thing, alright? Um, I'm going to show you, should I spawn in some wolves? The other thing I'm noticing is because I've added so many creatures like imps and minotaurs and just so many creatures, uh, they actually go and kill each other. Um, so if you're familiar with the game, you, you run up to an area expecting to find something and it's already dead. Yeah, see this wolf's been attacked by something and probably the other wolf is dead already. And he doesn't want to attack me, he's not even, oh yeah, he's noticed me now. Alright, so I'm going to show you... Alright, so what I'll do is I'll go into bear stance. Okay, so now I'm in bear stance. So my attacks are going to be slower, but they're also going to be stronger. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh yeah, because of simple hunting overhaul, you can either hold the dynamic activation key and it says pick up carcass. You can pick up unskinned carcasses and take them back to town to sell them. Uh, otherwise, if you load it, it skins the carcass. It chews up time, so it's now, yeah, nearly 6 o'clock at night, which is not too far from when I'm actually doing this. Uh, anyway, yeah, so dynamic activation key. It allows you to do different things, and people are going to have to read the... Oh, it's an order. People are going to have to read the fucking readmes to understand how to get the, the most out of this mod list. And you see the waterfalls, they're glowing orange, and it's because of the time of day, it's an E and B effect, and I don't know what to do about that, or if there is anything I can do about it. I may just have to live with it. But I'll show you stances real quick. Oh, and there's that, that running slide. See, there's a little running slide now, that's, that's just a nice touch. Anyway, bear stance, right, looks like that. Slower, whoops, did not mean to do that. Slower attacks, but stronger attacks. Bear stance. Let's just make sure I'm actually in bear stance. Yeah, slower attacks, stronger attacks. Cat stance, faster attacks, weaker attacks. Stag or deer stance. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what the buffs and debuffs are for that. And then wolf stance is default. So you get no buffs and no debuffs. So if you just want to play normally, just leave it on wolf stance. It's on wolf stance by default. But you've got these three other options, right? And that's for every single weapon in the game. So, you can... And, and so, for most of the weapons, not all of the weapons, because there's just not enough animations on the Nexus, um, 
For most of the weapons, there are different animation sets, MCO move sets, for each stance. So for sword, right, you've got a different animation set for wolf than you do from cat. So when you get your favorite weapon that you're going to play most of the game with, which a lot of people do, you've still got three completely different move sets, three or four completely different move sets to like learn how to play the game with and to like learn your combos and everything. So in my opinion, that's really fucking cool. And um, you can, I still need to balance it. I feel like the buffs and debuffs are too strong. Uh, Surprisingly enough, this fire is not doing much damage on the fire imp. Go figure. But yeah, the dodge. I've got a nice sidestep dodge there. Look at that. Dodging the flames. Love it. Alright, so yeah, we killed the imp. Good stuff. There he goes. Down he goes. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't get it so that creatures don't carry trading cards for the Triple Triad game. I don't know how to actually prevent it from showing up in the loot. Uh, we've got Rin Standing Stones, which are really pretty. And uh, I've got the full Simon Rim suite for everything except for races and Standing Stones. So Eni Rim is what I use for the Standing Stones. And what that does is, depending on your race, you get different buffs from the Standing Stones. So if you start the game again with a Khajiit, you'll get different buffs from the standing stones to what you would as a Nord. And then as far as races go, you've also got, uh, what is this? Exhaustion, Hunger, Thirst. Oh yeah, I've got to do that. Um, so you got Battle Cry. So you, you keep your active uh, racial trait thingies, your racial powers. Whereas Simon Rim uh, made it so it was just passives. And so I, I wanted active, I wanted active um, things. I've also got uh, know your armor and know your uh, know your enemy. Sorry, know your enemy and know your armor, uh, which you can uh, you know use these shouts to get uh, learn about their resistances and get an advantage if you want. I think that's pretty well everything to know. Yeah, yep, that's all that I need to say about any of that. Uh, did we actually? We, yeah, we chose it. Okay, we did that. There's a magic book here. What is it? Soul trap. We'll take that. We'll take this soul gem as well. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm play testing. I don't. I'm not playing for real, so I don't actually. Ah, see now, there's a, some sort of glitchy light thing happening. Did you see that? Did you see it flashing? The flashing light. I think that I've got a suspicion that that's to do with the occlusion of the LODs. Um, maybe I didn't make the occlusion quality high enough, so I'm going to regenerate the LODs a couple of times actually, once with the grass and once without it, and uh, see if the occlusion makes a difference, because I've never had, I never had those lighting, flashing, flashing light problems until I had a generated LO Dynalodod output. Uh, as soon as I had a generated Dynalodod output installed, I started getting those weird lighting problems. Down here is a fishing map, I don't know if that's... I've never actually played with the Creation Club content, and I've heavily modded all of the Creation Club content now. So if you pick up this fishing rod and go to the fishing supplies, you get a bunch of, like, uh, bait, and then you straight away start fishing. You can do it in first person or third person. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen fishing. I'd never actually done it until couple of days ago. Should tug on my line in a minute. Uh, oh, there we go. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Shut up. No one cares. Take a look. No, I don't. I'm trying to fish, bro. All don't right talk then. to me while I'm fishing. How do you? Alright, well that fucking sucked. He interrupted my fishing, bro. Not cool. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go and get red cap, and then we're going to go to Ambushard Mine. And I might actually have to... I've still got my lantern on. Might have to, um... Uh, maybe... I don't know. If I go over here, I can show you stuff that looks pretty. Swimming with a shield. Who would ever... So yeah, I don't know, man. Distant... Distant, like... Ultra trees is always very pretty. There should be some of these fucky fish that kill things. Here they are. 
So, yeah, these fish will just straight up kill you. There they are. And there's no underwater co- Ah, uh, now I'm stuck. There's, stop, stop killing me, bro. I'm trying to do a video. Uh, yeah, let's get away from these fish. Yep. Uh, there should be a bear over here as well. Maybe he's gone, gone off somewhere because sky test. Uh, yeah, so I've got Moon and Star installed, the quest mod, so that you can see the little village off in the distance there. So I'm very happy with my LODs. What is that? That is a dead something. Oh, that's a dead giant dragonfly. So there's giant dragonflies. <laughs> Lots of giant creatures, actually. Giant uh, leeches, giant dragonflies, stuff like that. We're going to go grab red cap. That's what we're going to Got fallen logs. Uh, I'm going to stick with melee. Oh, I am I, I'm already on melee. My bad. We're going to do stag stance. Because it's a good all-rounder. I can't remember the buffs, but it's a good all-rounder. Okay, so yeah, interesting. So yeah, not as strong as... Um, oh, he just died like that. Okay. Not as strong as the bear stance. But also faster. Oh, look, Anisi's cabin's just there. Cool. Alright. And yeah, see, nature of the wildlands tree stumps. Fucking beautiful. But also, I'm satisfied with Ulven Wild trees. I don't need Nature of the Wildlands trees. And also, Nature of the Wildlands trees uh, do have a lot of compatibility issues, I found. Even with the patches, I would often find clipping trees and things. There's two people here now. Make it quick. And this one sells you spells that you cannot afford and that are very, uh, oh, I've got a mod that tells you what tier the spell is, novice, apprentice, etc. So if you, if you don't, like, uh, if you're not leveled up enough, you'll know not to bother with it. So I think that's a nice touch. Uh, anyway, so this is from one of the shadow spell things, probably, uh, I can't, I can't remember her name, but Devani or something. Or, uh, either Kitty Tail or Devani, one of the two. Um, yeah, so we got basic stuff that anyone living in a, in this world I'm just would really a poor have. Old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself. Oh, you're just a poor old woman, my fucking ass. Um, alright, so, ooh, look at that chair. Pretty chair. Yeah, lovely. Um, anyway. So, yeah, there's a note in the, uh, I have to unlock this, so I have to be sneaking so no one can see me. Um, yeah, there's a note in the inn at Riverwood, so there's so you can find red cap organically. Um, it gives you a reason to explore, and here he is. And um, I picked followers, so we'll just talk to him quickly. Please. Oh yeah, you get this little notification of whether someone you're talking to is an ally or not. Name red cap. You if the, if they're help. a follower anyway, tells you if they're with still happy you. with you or not basically. Kill. Witch. So he wants me to kill the witch. <laughs> Red Cap, follow. Yeah. Red Cap's a cool follower because he can you can craft him special armor just for him that gives different buffs and things. Uh, here is Red Cap's. This is telling all about his past. We won't spoil anything. Uh, but that is supposed to motivate you, you to want to help him. Help me. You read the witch's journal. Right. Okay, so with my followers, Zelzaz, Remiel, and Redcap have three-way dialogue, and a lot of it. So if you make a team with those three followers on your team, they will all talk to each other all the fucking time and have these, like, like very sort of um, nice conversations. Just it, it, it adds life to your adventuring party. So that was my philosophy for picking followers, is how much can they interact with each other because I've played the game with followers that do not talk to each other and it just gives you a fucking weird feeling like like you're playing a video game <laughs> and who wants that no one wants that uh, so where, where are we at let's, uh, let's watch him kill her because I'm pretty sure I don't need to get involved he's pretty strong you have found Oh. Actually, I do need to talk to her. But before you are family, there will be blood. Shut up! You need to learn some manners. You're nothing. I actually love Red Cap. I think he's great. Where's my head? 
I never even greeted you properly. Oh, my build also has like 2,000 songs. I found a mod on Nexus that um that could have turned out combines better. like a oh, dozen wow. music mods into one, shot. and um so yeah, it works out to be something like over 2,000 se uh, songs throughout the game. Your destiny is dark. So that's pretty Imagine cool. Dying over I'm thinking about running them through a normalizer to make all the volume the same so you don't get any loud songs and then quiet songs and then loud songs and then quiet songs. Uh, we're just gonna ignore this. There you go, Red Cap's killing her with his spears. Yeah, and he did a cool little jump. That was pretty epic. So yeah, she's dead now. Good work, Red Cap. We got, uh, we got some stuff here. Mm. Human heart. There's I've installed a cannibalism mod, so if you want to go that way, you certainly can. Um, what am I doing? Uh, what am, what am I fucking doing? I picked something up. What was it? Something I wanted. A backpack. Yes. Carry capacity 50. Yes. So we're gonna add the backpack to every loadout. So that it's never taken off. And I can switch loadouts without losing my carrying capacity. And we put that on and we can't see it. Why can't I see my backpack? Okay, let's try mage loadout. And I can't see my backpack. Interesting, okay. But is it equipped? See, this is playtesting 101. No, it's not equipping. Oh, and I can't equip it. Oh, weird. Why can't I equip it? I have no idea. That's weird. That's also a problem. Hmm. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. Why can't I equip that backpack? Alright, can I equip it from here? No, I can't. Interesting. I don't know why that's happening. And we're not going to figure it out now. We are going to Embershard Mine. I'm probably going the wrong way. Also, my night sky, it looks okay, but I feel as though it could look better. I can see sort of twinkling stars and stars that just kind of look like blotches of paint. So I think I'm going to look for a better night sky replacer. I'm not happy with these stars. Yeah, I'm not happy with the stars. Everything else is fine, but the stars themselves, yeah, they're just ugly. Oh, it just won't do. Uh, okay, let's check the map, shall we? Uh, oh, yeah, and you see, uh, now I'm getting colder because the frost thing is uh, up. So, oh, yeah, and it says Anisi's cabin 15 to 40. That means that the enemies in that location are ranged between 15 and 40. That's what that means. Um, and that works for every location. It gives you a idea of the level of the enemies that you're going to be facing at that location so you can decide if you want to do it or not i don't know how accurate it is so this is all stuff i need to figure out through playtesting um so the more i play test the more i'll learn about how all this stuff works oh it's raining okay you know i've got to say the game is running surprisingly fucking well even though i'm not using dlss I'm actually really, really pleased about that. Um, okay, so I'm not cold. Am I cold? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, what is this? I'm dirty and I need to wash. Well, I'm getting rained on, man. That should, that should contribute. Uh, Alright, let's... Okay. So I'm running Gourmet. And... Um, I'm running e uh, eating animations and sounds. So everything that you eat and drink... You see him, you can see him eat and drink it, uh, no matter what it is, including all the mod added food, so that's that's pretty cool. I forgot to uh, turn off mod mode, so I'm not taking any damage. So let's turn off god mode. There we go. Otherwise, it's not going to be a good representation of what the game is actually like to play. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm really happy with the performance that I'm getting uh, on my 2070 Super in the rain. 
with Ultra Tree LEDs. And yeah, I'm actually really fucking happy. I think I'm going to play without the DLSS mod for a while and see what my performance is like. Because it's really seems to almost be better. No word of a lie, it seems to be better without it. Have I got my sword? Where's my fucking sword, bro? Did it fuck up? Yeah, look, it's not equipping... It's just not straight up not equipping stuff. Oh, the, the sword's equipped. Let's get rid of this backpack. And uh, try loading the loadout again. And then... There we go, sword. Okay, rocking and rolling. And we'll go... No, we'll go deer stance again. I quite like the deer stance. Where's this fucker? Oh, fuck! Bad time for you, buddy. Well, he's actually... He's got a decent amount of health for someone at level 1. Still too easy, but what can you do? Um, well, I suppose I can install mods and fix that. But today... Oh, look at all this blood. I wonder where that came from. Yeah, this is the other thing, is that all the bandits outside were dead. A few times I came here before. And there's only one bandit outside. I kind of want there to be more bandits here. So I might have to do some stuff with mods. But we're going to call that done for today. Uh, tomorrow I will pick up this video from where I left off. And we will do Embershard Mine. If you, if you are down to watch it. Um, if not, I mean that's whatever. It's all good. Um, anyway, I hope, I hope you enjoyed having a look at my mod list. And um, yeah, I'll pick, pick this up tomorrow.